We're looking at the possibility yeah. of some wintry weather tomorrow morning as we're a week away from the official start of How winter. About that? Yeah, mm -hmm. Chief Meteorologist Tom Tassemeyer is here now with a look at what we may be able to expect this winter. Mm -hmm. And this may be a preview. I mean, in these kind of mm -hmm. winters that we're looking at, icy scenarios kind of pop up yeah. frequently. So get set for that. We're in a La Nina winter. And believe it or not, the oceans play a big role in how the uh, weather is going to unfold across the lower 48. The ocean atmospheric interaction is critical for forecasting long range. Normally, the trade winds blow warm water near the tropical Pacific Ocean over to the uh, areas near Asia. But in some years, those trade winds are pretty strong. So it piles up that warm water over near Asia and pushes the water away from South America, allowing cooler waters to bubble up. That's La Nina. When the surface temperatures of the Pacific are cooler than normal near South America, we are in a La Nina winter. What does that do for the United States? Well, it makes the main storm track cut cold air across the upper Midwest and into the Ohio Valley. These areas will get lots of snow and cold upper Midwest, Great Lakes, and even up into New England. It's usually drier and milder than normal across the southern tier. We're in the mid-Atlantic, so we kind of sit in between, and that's the way the winter will probably play out. Normally, we get about 19 inches of snow in Baltimore. In La Nina winters, we average 16 inches, so that's a little below average. In fact, most of the La Nina winters since 1950, 21 of 25, have had below normal snowfall. Average temperatures, well, they're pretty normal, about 36 degrees averaged out over the entire winter. Half the winters in a La Nina pattern have been colder than normal, and about half have been warmer than normal. So it's looking like it's going to be a fairly normal winter as far as temperatures go, but below normal snowfall in most La Nina winters like this one, unfortunately above average as far as freezing rain and sleet. There are exceptions. The winter of 1995-96, that was a La Nina winter. 62 and a half inches of snow in that winter, a lot of ice too. That's the second most snowfall we've ever had in a winter in Baltimore, and it came in a La Nina winter like we expect most of this winter to be. So we're looking for normal, but we may see one of those big storms pop up. You never know, and that's why we'll be here every night monitoring the weather conditions.